government, worship, discipline, rights and privileges of the Church of Scotland. So help me God. I now invite your majesty to subscribe both copies of the instrument, confirming the oath has been taken. from the new king on the oath that he has just declared in front of the Privy Council. And now witnesses will also add their signature to the document. I now invite the witnesses to His Majesty's oath to sign both copies of the instrument. And that will begin with the new Prince of Wales, Prince William. And now those documents are being turned around because there are other witnesses waiting by the side of the platform who will also add their signatures to it. And just to be clear, Robert Hardman, what, what we're seeing being signed here, this is, this is about the oath to the Church of Scotland. Yes, this is uh, preser preserving the settlement of the Church of Scotland. Um, underlines the, the, the difference in the monarch's role with the Church of Scotland and the Church of England. Um, with the, the Church of England, that will come separately. We just heard that in relation to this section of, of the proceedings. You know, there was no reference to, 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 um, to, to the Church of England. This is all about Scotland. Scotland is where, for the next few days, in fact, a lot of this, the attention, our attention, will focus um, as, uh, as the Queen, the late Queen, um, uh, is, is brought to Holyrood House and then to St. Giles' Cathedral in, Ed in Edinburgh. This sort of presages a, a very Scottish dimension to this. And that was indeed Alistair Jack, the Secretary of State for Scotland, adding his signature now. First Minister Nicola Sturgeon and Brandon Lewis has already added his sign signature to the document. You can hear the bands outside taking up their place because shortly we will be going out into Friary Court just outside these windows where the new king will be proclaimed publicly. The Lord Advocate of Scotland, Dorothy Bain, adding her signature to both copies of that oath Secretary to the King, Clive Alderton, and the Private Secretary to the late Queen, Sir Edward Young, standing side by side. And that the Lord President of the Court of Session. 